Hello everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to Russian Invasion. I actually don't know how long. I think this will be the finale episode for this, uh, because um, my computer was expected, or scheduled delivery, Wednesday of next week. Uh, however, it took a massive uh, leap that I did not expect it to take. Uh, I don't know how it managed to do it, but overnight it somehow managed to go from Los Angeles to a town called Lachine, Quebec, which is on the U.S. border. And uh, I, I don't know how the fuck they managed to do that. Either their truck was just plowing the fucking through it overnight and somehow managed to get across the United States of America faster than anybody before in a truck, uh, or it was flown uh, into who the fuck knows where. And, um, yeah, it was just flown into who's the, who the fuck knows where and then trucked uh, through to Lachine. And then now it's in uh, processing, the final stages of processing there. So I have no fucking clue if scheduled delivery is still technically supposed to be Wednesday of next week or if it's Friday. Because if it gets through processing today and put on a truck uh, late this afternoon, that truck can get to Halifax in about, I'd say, roughly 12 hours. And so he could do it in tonight, tomorrow, uh, and then deliver it to me like Friday morning. So... I have absolutely no fucking clue anymore when that computer is supposed to show up, but sometime between now and next Wednesday. So I'm saying, and my grandmother thinks so as well, she uh, worked a little bit for UPS uh, a while back. Um, she also believes that it could be Friday or Monday. So let's hope so. That'd be pretty awesome if it happened on Friday or Monday. Uh, Monday would give me more time to finish up the Roman and Arabian series, but... Time is never on my side. And of course, if you want to go check out the Q&A video, you guys can go into my channel and click on that and ask me a question. Please don't ask me the question, though, what am I doing next for my next series? I have been asked that three times as of now. Uh, please be a little bit more original. Um, but those are some pretty interesting and original questions on there. Just uh, don't ask that one, because that one has been asked multiple times. Um, so, yeah. Now, I did kind of activate every single troop to move towards the Czech border because I want to go after the Czechs uh, so I can actually go after what's left of the Slovaks. Look at that, taking out old Czechoslovakia together. They're dying together. Born together, die together. Every single Czech and every single Slovak on this video is now pissed at me. <laughs> that was back when the Soviets made us be together. Yeah, okay. I don't really care. I'm going to kill you anyway. Both of you together are both going to die. <laughs> Just accept it. Just lean back and accept it. Is that Italian troops? What are the frig are they doing there? Who are they going after? Belarus. Uh, they can't get into Belarus. Belarus can get to them, but they can't get into Belarus. That's going to be interesting when I get to the Italian border through Austria. Because Austria will be after the Czechs and the Slovaks. And it'll probably be Hungary just to kind of gap out that huge area. Who's at war there? Oh yeah, the Serbs are somehow still hanging on. And the Romanians and Austrians are actually going after the uh, Belarus. However, Belarus is, well, was winning that fight, but it doesn't have any troops in there anymore. Where are all your troops at, Belarus? I thought you actually had troops still. I know you had a couple of tanks, anyway. Maybe not, whatever. Whatever. Still weird, though. I didn't expect the Czechs to go after the Slovaks so hard. Really, really strange. Oh, well. I'm still waiting for the world to, like, hate my guts and go to war with me. Oh, yeah, I'm at war with South Korea, right? And they're slowly making their way towards my border. Which scares me immensely, because they've destroyed those units that were there. But hopefully fighting them on my own turf is going to give me a little bit more of a chance against them, but I guess we'll have to see. It's hard to say. It's very, very hard to say. I think, though, for preparation of that, I'm going to move these troops into here, into this city. Move these guys south, because that's going to happen sooner than later, I think. Move those troops south. The Chinese aren't going to give me any problems, so I'm not going to bother with that. It's the damn Asian, the friggin' South Koreans that are going to give me really annoying fucking issues. Keep those troops there just in case something happens with the Kazakhstan. Keep those troops there just in case something happens with Georgia or Azerbaijan. Beijing, whatever. I think that's enough troops. What do I have these troops on? Do I have them on full? Good, okay. I was going to say, I really don't want to have to control a thousand fucking units. That's just retarded. 
Oh shit, I did not... Oops, I did not mean to go to war with Austria. Okay, we're at war with Austria now. Oops, not the country I meant to click. Oh well, we're at war with Austria now, everybody. <laughs> A little bit earlier than I expected, and not how I expected to do it, but we're at war with Austria now. Well, not what I expected to happen at all. Okay, so we'll send our troops south then, and we'll go into Austria. We'll deal with the Czechs later once we've, like, surrounded their fucking country. <coughs> Excuse me, oh my goodness. I've had the sniffles all week, and it's starting to turn into sneezes now, but I don't have as much sniffles. That's always good. Although I just sniffled there, yes. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, well, the Chinese don't like me. They don't hate me, hate me, hate me, but they don't like me at all. And they're... Yeah, Mongolia's distracted with China anyway. They don't war me at all. Oh, really? I have to go across a crappy train bridge? Hmm. Yeah, those Asians are gonna get... Those Asians are getting there. No, I don't want my fucking units going in there. Don't be so stupid. Don't be so stupid. Retreat, you dumbasses. We really do not want to anger them. Let the Chinese deal with them and get killed themselves. I don't want our troops getting killed. Although they probably won't get killed, they'll probably just retreat. Still, I don't want to have to repair all of the units I just sent. Although I think I'm going to have to. I'll just let them do their thing, whatever. I have Austria to deal with. And apparently... Not really. What happened to a very war-torn Austria? This is 2020, not 1940-something. Pretty well all the 40s. Austria was in pretty poor shape. I'll just leave those towns there, whatever. Did they go after the Italians? No. No. Slovakia was eliminated. I was wondering when that was going to happen. That's the... F um, fun fact. That is the first nation in Europe that has not been defeated by me. Fun fact. Because even Serbia is still around. So, yeah. Keeping that in mind there. Oh, yeah. Turks are going after the Greeks. Doing so quite successfully overall. Though they have to take that city to really make a major dent. Also, the Greeks could be smarter and i built a bridge to have more units against the Turks, but... Also, the Turks are a powerhouse because they've taken over fucking... Uh, S Syria. Israel. Are they at war with Israel? Yes, yes they are. Greece, Iran, Israel, Armenia. They're at war with Armenia. Oh yeah, huh. And also Iran, who, if they really wanted to, could send a lot of tanks at them. That's weird, though. I didn't think they were actually at war with uh, Israel. It's interesting. Also, it was Lebanon that took them over, too. They won't last much longer there against Jordan and everybody. I'm surprised they're still around, to be honest. <laughs> the fucking Austria is just like, Durr. We still exist! Kinda thorda. Kinda, kinda thorda. Let's take over crimes with those units. And the wars of Europe. And Austria is fighting Belarus for no real reason. In the name of Austria? I don't know. No, they're going to lose that. They only have two units against a whole thing of garrisons. That's Austrian land. That's going to be taken over by Serbia. Obviously. How did they get through there? I wonder. Oh my. We are funneling units in here. This is ridiculous. Take that over, obviously, first. We want to get rid of all that shit. What's that place called? Wienerschnatt? Wiener... Wiener... I don't even know. News to at? There's a town with Wiener in the name. That's, that's what I'm taking out of this. Whoa. I don't want to do that. I want to go north, I guess. Or fall back. Fall back, dumbasses. Get out of there. Get the fuck out of there. Let's not get ourselves all fucking killed. It's just not worth it. Fall back. No, don't use supply, you idiots. Where are my supply planes? That's 70 fucking units. Okay, unit units. Hurry up and take over the damn country so we can actually get these units out of there alive. Or at the very least, take over that town. Uh, you idiots. Take over that town. 
You idiots. Take for the capital. There. We almost have the capital. Those units mostly will survive, although there is a few that are probably pretty badly beat up at this point. Because they literally can't do fucking anything. Yeah, there's a tank, there's a thing there. Yeah, okay, so there. Okay, now we have Austria. Austria is in our power. Not what I meant to do, but... Oh, well. I meant to take over just the capital through this way, but that's obviously not how that happened. Italian troops! <laughs> uh, did anybody declare war on me while I was doing that? No. I love how my economy is nice and stable. I have another, um... A f another fo oh, fuck, really? I have another file where, uh... My, um... Economy is not doing very well. But we definitely need industrial. Consumer, not so much. We really don't need consumer that much, but I will build consumer goods. Build three of those as well. That's going to murder my fucking economy for a little bit. So, because it's going to murder my economy for a little bit, we're putting taxes way the fuck up. And we're putting that down. Because we don't have much choice. We need to invest in the military. That's just a, that's just a given. That has to happen. Because it has to happen. Oh good, you're already headed halfway there. Okay, so... Up there, like we planned before. And actually declare war on the correct fucking country this time. And not the wrong country. Oh yeah, did they get that? Yeah, and they got those tanks too. I bet they were all destroyed. And Hungary looks like they might actually do something. They have a fair amount of units headed in through. Hmm. Gonna have to declare war on Hungary after this, I guess. I guess we are, I guess, I guess. Seems like the mature thing to do is to declare war on a nation like Hungary. Move almost a thousand fucking, over a thousand units around. Hmm. Oh yeah, okay, so we do have a couple of Russian ships in the Black Sea. They're all gonna get brutally destroyed when I go to war with Bulgaria, though. I think Bulgaria has a larger force. Well, they have a couple of sh yeah, it's gonna be dicey. I think I'll gather them up. Well, hey, look, they're actually going after Romania. Interesting. Hungary's too stupid to actually do that themselves. Damn it, Hungary, come on. Get with the program, man. Get with the program. I think what I'll do... Take my air units, 186 of them. And have them go there right away. As we declare war on the Czech Republic. Air units. Capital. Blow everything out of the fucking sky that's in that capital city. Oh, we have units there. What? Since when did I have units? Oh, they're repairing. Okay. Those units going in there because they're so fucking intelligent. They're just gonna have little squabbles there, whereas the main force is just like. <laughs> Seriously, that's exactly what they're doing right now. They're going. <laughs> Give me control of that bridge without destroying the bridge. We really don't want to destroy the bridge to the capital. That would be bad. Actually, while well, those units are doing that, we can just have those units there. Those units are destroying the shit out of that. Which is also part of Prague. Alright. And we've already split the country in half. <laughs> That's... <laughs> uh, we're so Russian, it's almost, like, sickly. We're just like, ah, I split them in half. <laughs> it's defense. Serbia under attack by Ireland. No, I don't want to go to war with Ireland. As funny as that would be. I don't want to go to war with Ireland. Not yet, anyway. I'm surprised the world doesn't, like, fucking hate me yet. Are they... Oh, my units are still actually fighting. Not getting very far, but they're fighting. Well, they're getting somewhat far. I mean, they did take that over and stuff. They, you know, they, took, they took some land. You, get the hell out of there. You idiot. Run, Vodnik Light. Run! Run! No! Poor bastard. I hope that, that that kind of unit slip... Thing is, though, is that's angering them. And they're just sending more and more tanks after them and going after these cities and shit here in China. I'm just hoping that that artillery is enough to keep them at bay. <gasps> Czech Republic got eliminated. Yay! I didn't know that was going to happen at all. All the Italian troops are like, shit, run like hell. Run like hell. 
my units. We're going to take over Hungary next, so where do we want to be for that? I guess here. Ha! <laughs> 1337 units in total, that's funny. Uh, we're so elite. Where could I land? I'd have to take over France, I think, to land anywhere in... Who are they at war with, anyway? Belarus and Serbia, of course. Yeah, I'd have to take France over, I think, to get that land. Which, I'm gonna have to take over Belgium and the Netherlands to get that land. And Belgium and the Netherlands actually have a formidable military because the Germans weren't dicks and didn't attack them. So, that's not good, actually. It's bad. I don't like when the Netherlands has a military. hell? What the hell happened to that texture? <laughs> what the heck? Is that, that's the, okay, that's like the first, like, really major glitch I've seen. Like, a very obvious glitch. <laughs> oh my god. Is there one over here? No, power coal. Oh, look, it's the all the power petrols. What the fuck? Is that really what they look like? Oh my god, what the hell? Why are they all flat? What? I thought they were the same as, like, power coal. Power, build industrial. Mm, power. Yeah, power petrol. <laughs> Why is that like that? What the fuck? <laughs> That's so ridiculous. Oh my god. Declare war on Hungary. Where the fuck are you guys going? Back into Moscow? Doesn't need protection, but fine. You can head back into Moscow if you want. Yay! Formidable-ish opponents. And by formidable-ish, I mean opponents that don't, like, send one unit. They're like, oh shit, send the military. Because that's what you do when you get attacked near your capital. So near, in fact, that we literally have bombings happening, happening just outside of the capital. I also love how they retreat their units to the capital, which has a barracks. It's very, uh, future-esque. So I don't, I think after I take over these guys, I'm going to end this particular episode. I would like to take over Europe if I could beforehand, but I know that the Roman Empire is mm, honestly my pr actual priority because it's an actual serious series where this is just going to, how far can I get type of thing. Um, so... I'm uh, not totally sure. I won't call this the final, because maybe I will make another one to be the day that my computer arrives or something like that. Just as kind of like a filler thing. But uh, it could possibly be the final episode. But anyway, guys, if you guys want to ask a question, that Q&A video is up. Uh, again, just look at my channel. It's Besides this one, it's the next recent. And I will be answering that on Friday. Or Saturday, I think I said. Saturday or Friday? I think it was Saturday. Yeah, yeah, it was Saturday. Saturday. Derp. I'm such a dumbass. So yeah, I will be answering that Saturday, so you have till, till Saturday to come up with a question and ask me a question, and I'll answer all of them. Again, don't ask me what the next series is going to be. That's been answered, like, so many fucking times. Um, and please ask the question on that video as well. If it's asked on this video, I probably won't see it, and I probably won't. Uh, it won't get answered, so ask it on that video, please, if uh, at all possible. That would be awesome. And we're going to take over Budapest here. In Hungary. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Boom, smash, explosions. Chicka pow. A couple of garrisons. And all the garrisons are gone, and Budapest is Russian. Now Russian controlled. Whoa, what's going on here? Bulgaria just, like, got, like, a boost. Bulgaria's like, shit, if they're going to take over Hungary, that means Serbia's going to get land here. This is bad. And they're allies with Serbia. Oh yeah, so if they get land, I can go in through here. I can technically attack Bulgaria right away. I can attack pretty well all the Balkans right away. Interesting. Oh, they didn't get that much land. They got a little bit of land in like one unit. Still, they got enough land where I could technically strike at them. And so can Croatia now, actually. It's good for Croatia, bad for them. Well, there's my Skype call. I'll see you guys later. Peace.